micro franchising impacting in Nigeria in 2018? I think we first of all have to look at the concept of franchising, which is that it provides uh, an already made uh, system. So it's a model that is tested and trusted over time and has been perfected um, to ensure that there's a return on investment for that business and that the business grows. Um, so how do I see micro franchising? Um, one of the other challenges with franchising um, have been issues that um, it's somewhat on the high end. So you have all of this, uh, um, you know, international franchise opportunities coming in. It was somewhat out of the reach of the common man. But at the micro level, it then gives um, small business owners, uh, micro enterprises uh, in, in Nigeria, an opportunity to do two things. One is to formalize their business. Um, as a state government uh, uh, institute, this is this is good news for us because it also helps us to adequately capture um, the kind of economic activity that's going on in the state. Um, it also helps us to bring more people into the tax bracket and, you know, uh, uh, with standardization and formalization of those businesses. Um, on the other hand, it also helps businesses uh, to expand beyond their initial uh, uh, financial capability. So, when you have other investors who are keyed into that system um, that, like I said, has been tested and trusted over time, and then it can immediately help those businesses scale the, the scale very quickly, and then it can also help them compete competitively with uh, um, other international brands who are doing something very similar in that space. So it gives some level of uh, credibility to uh, that brand, and it can also help us then begin to build and establish local brands that can then transcend beyond our borders. So in 2018, I think that there's a very huge opportunity for micro um, franchising in Nigeria. Thank you.